Which lightsaber color gives the biggest tactical benefit? I'm doing a list of five because people like lists. At number five, I would say is green. Aside from any potential psychological advantages, like green relieving stress and might making somebody not want to fight you, which I don't think that's a really big benefit, it doesn't have too many benefits. The only that I can really think of is it's not the color that we're really used to having Jedi have. I mean, there are definitely Jedi with green lightsabers, however, we're more used to seeing blue. So if somebody rolls up with a green lightsaber, then you think, hey, that's slightly different. Probably not big enough to give a tactical advantage, but there you go. Up next would be a slight improvement from green. It would be purple. We still haven't seen too many lightsabers like this, but it's still a pretty well-known and established color that exists in lightsabers. If you came onto a battlefield with this lightsaber color, then it would definitely make somebody think, hey, that's very different. So it would make you stand out, which could be a bad thing, but could also be a good thing. Number three is two different colors, and I think that we're getting into actual solid tactical advantages here. We've got the white lightsaber and the black lightsaber. These lightsabers are incredibly rare in the Star Wars universe. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if there were people watching the Mandalorian who saw the Darksaber come up first and they didn't know the other shows and they were like, hey, is that actually a lightsaber? And probably similar with white. They're not really colors that people associate with lightsabers, so they could instill some doubt in the person's mind and potentially give you a little bit of an edge while fighting them. Now that edge would likely be small, but we see historically in things like the wavy blade flamberge that having just a slight edge over your opponent can be worthwhile sometimes. At number two, I think the second most tactically beneficial lightsaber color, I think that would be blue, even though it's, you know, the most common. Do you know why Luke was given a green lightsaber in Return of the Jedi instead of a blue one when he rebuilt his own from Kenobi's workshop? It wasn't originally for some meta reason, it's just because the blue blended in with the blue of the Dune Sea sky, so it was difficult to see that scene's lightsaber combat. But that could easily be tactically beneficial. If you're fighting in open areas a lot, then making it so that way your opponent has trouble seeing your weapon, that'd be pretty huge. I can see some styles that point the tip first and kind of align it with the opponent's eyes, kind of like Kenobi style, to blend in where the lightsaber actually is. And if that's also blended in with the sky, that would be pretty useful. It'd be also useful if there was a small double-bladed lightsaber where you could just have it coming out of either side, because that would just instill even more doubt in your target. Now that is situational, I mean you have to be fighting outside on an Earth-like planet on a clear day, but I think that's a pretty big situational benefit. And lastly, the most tactically beneficial, I think, would be red. Not for like some psychological advantage, because people think that it's intimidating for whatever, but because of your own vision, the rhodopsin in your eyes, the stuff that helps you see at night, is usually degraded by other spectrums of light, but red light doesn't degrade that. That's why we see soldiers or even cartographers using red flashlights to read maps and things at night. So if it's dark out, you can use a red lightsaber in certain spectrums and not damage your night vision. That's a pretty huge tactical advantage. Now again, this is situational, like the blue sky thing, but I think darkness kind of comes up a bit more than a perfectly bright sky in the perfect environment that you're fighting in, because, you know, like, inside and nighttime can both be dark. Anyway, if you want to hear about what I think a lightsaber-based martial art would look like, check this video.